So today, I'm really excited. See, I have worked with a lot of crypto investors, but actually understanding the whole process and understanding how to incorporate metaverse and real estate. Like, digitalizing real estate, which is the way of the future, which is the way of forward. Let's have a look, very, very informative vlog. This is probably the most informative video on the internet today. Now, if you want to completely understand the metaverse, you have to watch this video. So we are partnering with a car chain, the most powerful blockchain powered real estate tokenization platform. Now, if you want to understand every aspect on how can you link real estate with the metaverse, watch the full video. Because man, most people are still new to crypto and metaverse. Mm. Uh, of course, the ones who are into it completely understand, but most people like me want to get into it, but don't understand it. Mm. And probably don't even have a safe platform because there are a lot of scammers in the market as well. I recently, in fact, I met a scammer. Big level, like this guy, he's like in flashy hotels and you know, he's making people buy. But I met uh, some professionals in DIFC. They sell financially structured products, and so they told me who are listed, who are not listed, and all of that. So, um, to the point, you can link real estate and so you're a real estate and metaverse. Yes. So in case I have a, a house, so let's say we own a property in Damascus, so Villa, and I want to list it. How do I go about it? So first of all, to answer your question about you know people looking at crypto and looking at basically, see crypto is now one of the alternate investment channels for people to invest in. Correct. So people earlier in the earlier stages were keeping their money in the banks okay. and they were safe uh, and they were reliable whatever the interest bank paid them they were okay with that. Correct. But then, then they came the evolution when uh, banks started coming up with products which were like insurance products then there were mutual funds, stocks came into picture, stock markets came into picture so uh, then forex trade and gold trade, Correct. commodities and everything yeah. uh, that basically that because the evolution of technology came into picture okay. technology became so easily accessible for people that uh, platforms were easily available and then because of these platforms being available people were able to uh, get into these alternate investment channels and crypto is like one of this right. so I am not a financial advisor so investing into crypto may be a right choice, may not be a right choice for someone or anything. But right now, because of the evolution and because of so much of digitization happening, it has become one of the most preferred modes of payment for people to do transactions. No, I believe crypto is the way of the future. This, I of course, I, of course, I come, everyone agrees on exactly that. because everything is going digital. I think even money is going to be digital. Uh, loans are going to get extinct at some point. Exactly. And a lot of governments are going to, to, uh, to a room yes. where they are coming up with CBDCs, which is called as central bank digital currencies. So, okay. yeah. So, uh, the, in fact, uh, if you talk about UAE right now, uh -huh. UAE in, and Saudi are collaborating together to create a CBDC, which is called as Arbor, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it's going to be one of the mediums where, it, uh, where the cross-border transactions will happen swiftly without any uh, delays and without any uh, intermediaries at all. Right. So it will reduce a lot of cost, it will reduce a lot of time and it will be much more efficient and seamless. So just like that, even in this year's uh, budget in India, uh, the Indian Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, she announced that you know India is looking at a CBDC as an option to uh, get into the digital system as well. It is one of the fastest growing because right. people are investing heavily into crypto in India right. and uh, it is one of the fastest growing right. but I don't know if it is the highest or no but yes of course it is because you have an advantage of population obviously. Okay. So yeah. So, so getting back to point, 
if I have a villa in Damak Hills, I want to sell it in in the metaverse. How does that work? So, uh, what we do is basically uh, we are uh, taking the real estate, which is the real world, and combining it uh, and and uh, integrating it with the metaverse. Okay. So we are not selling the real world property in the metaverse. Okay. But what we are doing is that you know we are first of all fractionalizing the real world property, okay. and each fraction is then represented by a grid in the metaverse. Okay. So what we do is, let's for example, you have a villa okay. uh, in Dubai at any any location, any property, any building developer, whatever. So what we do is we need to first so to actually come to the uh, real crux is that real estate is one of the highest. Uh, Uh, highly regulated industries in world correct and uh, it comes into a lot of eyeballs and tractions and everything but it is the most undigitized industry also correct because there is nothing digital in real estate correct the only thing digital you find is the listings that you see on the platform after that everything happens paperwork it has to be you know e- even though the dubai land department uh, uh, has taken all the title records and everything on the blockchain but still the entire process you're still signing contracts you're still giving checks you're still making uh, 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 in involving brokers lawyers and everyone so our idea was to actually connect the buyers and the sellers together and get these intermediaries Uh, distance okay. intermediaries are good for consultation correct but not to be the part of the transaction so w- the problems happen when they become a part of the yeah, transaction exactly yeah. so yeah. they should not be a part of the transaction but they should be a consultant okay i would have a broker who would advise me okay but 90% of the time the buyers are buying properties because they are influenced by the broker correct that's not my choice correct but because i'm so much influenced by the broker that's why i'm buying that property so So the idea of having a peer to peer is between the buyer and the seller is because I want to buy what I want to buy although my banker my lawyer my broker all of them can be consultants whom I can consult Understood. but they could not be a part of the transaction so i have a property worth 6 million uh, in damak hills yes. let's do live okay yes. and i i am going to list it in, in the matter in in the account yeah okay, okay. Um, so you're saying how how can i fractionalize so it? now what happens what we do is okay. since real estate is not digitized 100% yeah. Yeah. what we are trying to do is digitize the real estate so first you create a digital asset of the real asset so by oh, how do we do that is by making an nft of it so oh, the yeah. nft becomes the yeah, so the nft becomes the digital asset right and then we fractionalize the nft So when an investor is buying or anyone who is buying fractional shares right. he is buying a fraction of an NFT which is represented by the real estate asset now when you're buying into this fractional NFT each share so for, uh, what we do is now there are a lot of people who are doing crowdfunding okay now the crowd the uh, the mo- modus operandi in which they're doing crowdfunding is they're they're putting the property into an SPV yeah and then they're selling shares of the property correct now as a technology expert or like a technical tech 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 geek if you ask me uh, i don't approve of that is because uh, you are not fractionalizing real estate correct so what you're doing is just you're fractionalizing the equity of the company and for me to fractionalize the real estate correct. then it has to be something metric to the real estate so what we do is we break the property into square feet obviously that's the metric measurement for real estate okay and every one square feet becomes one share in the property one square feet is one share okay, okay. okay. so if the property is like say 2000 square feet right. so that means this property would have 2000 shares ah nice nice okay. nice and uh, let's say if the proper value of the property is uh, 1 million okay so if it's 1 million divided by 2000 so you get per share value as well Understood. Okay. Understood. So that's one share. Now, if I if 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 we list this property on a car chain, so you are you are able to buy fractional shares. Now, what does fractional sh- share give you? Uh, it gives you the right of the yield. So, if this property is earning yield, uh, rental income, that that rental income is divided amongst all the two thousand shareholders. Understood. That, so, okay. so if I buy ten percent of it, I will get ten percent of the yield. If I buy forty percent of the property, I get forty percent of the yield. That part I was clear. I okay. understand this this part. The one square foot is one share, yeah. and then 
So that's so it. now when I buy one share of the property, I can claim one share of metaverse land in a car land. So one square foot is equal to one square foot of the actual real estate property. That's one share and that's one piece of land in the metaverse. Yes. So a person one grid, one grid, grid. Yeah. One grid in the metaverse. So that means if we do it this way, I can get best of both worlds. Exactly. Can get real estate and metal. Exactly. So why would anyone do the typical way? Uh, that's a good question. Why? And still, it's not been answered. Just either. because people are unaware of this. Exactly. So all I got to do is blow this out of proportion. Exactly. And we are the new way exactly. forward. We are exactly. the new way forward. This is amazing. I love this. Okay, this is. Oh, this is brilliant. Um. So and apart from this, if someone has crypto, like if someone sitting in Canada has cryptocurrency, he can sit in Canada and buy this yes. as well. Yes, just through crypto, and exactly. we have that platform. Yes, so we have a platform. Yes, it's platform is active live. You can actually go now and buy it right now also if you want. So if I keep listing properties here, uh, sellers have an advantage that. We can attract the cryptocurrency billionaires, billionaires across the world to just come up because that's what they're doing, right? Correct. Right? Yeah. So, uh, although the legal structure is a little different, but uh, obviously, yes, in the front end, you are buying with crypto assets. So we can assist people in getting their crypto wallet sorted. Uh, so because I intend yeah, yeah. to travel across, we can get the crypto wallet sorted, and do that's that. a major problem because you know people are not comfortable with uh, crypto wallets, and it becomes a little uh, uh, difficult in sense, or rather complex for for the first time user. But once you get used to it, once you get a hang of it, then there's all. It's like you know mobiles. When 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 the first mobiles uh, come in, you know you need some time to play with it and know what is it. Till the time you get used to it. When right. iPhone came for first, it was a little difficult for people to understand right. and use the whole QWERTY keyboard or a touch screen and all. It was a little difficult because right. we were all used to the QWERTY Blackberries and everything. Correct. So it was a little difficult to right. actually adjust and everything. Right. Then now it's like you know people you would do it in your sleep also. So it's all about adapting to the technology. So in the initial stages, it may look a little complex. It may look like a little. Uh, uh, techy, but then slowly and steadily, when you start getting used to it, yeah, it becomes a piece of a cake later on. I think this is just the people are not into crypto. People are crypto. This will make more sense. Oh, for them, them, yes, of course. People who are already into crypto, multiple it. wallets. I mean, for them, uh, the questions are much more deeper <laughs> in terms of what chain you're on and how which stable currency you're accepting, and you know that that's how deep it goes into it. So what chain are you on? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, really, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna get uh, what chain are you on and what currency? That's a good point. Okay, what chain are you on? So we are right now on Polygon chain. Okay, Polygon. So our NFTs are mint uh, uh, are on the uh, are on the Polygon chain. Okay. And subsequently, the fractional tokens are also issued uh, are uh, are issued on the Polygon ERC20 standard. Okay. Uh, currently, we are accepting uh, stable coins, which is USDT, USDC on the Polygon chain. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> We also are going to start off with uh, multiple chains. So uh, our next step would be in the new new course, maybe by Q3, Q4, it would be where we will start bridging to Binance Smart Chain, uh, BSC, wow. and probably look at other alternate chains as well. well that's good. Like because Binance just opened their headquarters in Dubai, right? So yeah, but then be, uh, again, Binance Smart Chain is different because it it will allow. Um, uh, more people to use the BEP20 network, which is one of the network chains uh, used to transfer uh, uh, stable coins. Actually, I also only know USDT. All the all the buyers that I've handled with crypto till now, whichever currency they had, they had to. I've done few transactions in Bitcoin, but then mostly they were like, okay, you have to transfer to USDT, and from USDT we can do the transaction. I think that's common. I think that's something we've yeah. sort of adjusted to as well. Yeah, exactly. It has to enhance. I think whatever you said, I have no idea what you said, but it has to upgrade to that, and I completely agree with you. Okay. <laughs> so um, I think this is good. This is a lot of information for today, and then as more and when I learn, I'm going to put that across out there, and then we'll be sure. done. Yeah. Thank you.